Hey guys, okay, so uh, VHT chassis roll bar, uh, gloss black. The drop spindles, I have already put the chassis saver on them. Um, everything's taped off. And then I scuffed them with a green Scotch Brite pad. So here we go. Give it a dust coat to start out with. Close the kitchen door, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> All right, here we go. All righty. Just a light dust coat to start out with here. All right, jump over to this guy here. Start with the bottom. All right, getting it done. So excited moving forward on this project. Be ordering the rotors here hopefully today. And have some other stuff being. Let's see what else we got going on. Just got the um, the bump stops, the front bump stops. I didn't realize I needed those until I was watching Dan's um, hot rods. Get the exact name of his um, YouTube channel, but I'll post it below and talk about it. And my thank you to all you YouTubers that are helping me out. I appreciate it. Posting your stuff on YouTube and how to do things. But uh, yeah, so anyway, got the bump stops done. I have a great shop here in Modesto called BRE. Went to BRE and got them the next day. So pretty excited to move forward with that. What else do I have going on here? I'm going to paint the frame with the chassis and roll bar. Uh, the bottom of that, that's the next thing I'm going to do. And then, yeah, and then I get to start putting it all together. Finally get to put the ride tech stuff on. I remember it was over a year ago. I had it sitting right here in my backyard and all spread out without the frame, without the chassis. And now it's all on there. The, um, frame brace kit is on yeah, pretty pretty excited to see this all come together I've got the back frame brace that I'm working on right now this is tacky so I'm giving another coat here uh, it's warm not super warm today but enough you know in the, in the eight high 80s 90s <clears throat> so yeah as soon as I get the rear frame brace together but I really can't put that on until I get the body back on the chassis so uh just putting the ride tech stuff on i'm really excited to do that finally i'm glad that we was able to figure everything out with the guys at hyatt's helped me out getting uh the correct nice one of it getting the correct uh bearings set up that was kind of a hurdle it's not that it's super complex but you know just taking time contacting people making sure you know what fits with what and i know at the beginning of this video i i showed you guys the correct bearings i'll have it once again in the description below if you guys are using these high drop spindles and um it says 79 through 81 g body but it says a body on the ride tech website which is correct technically that one year was the last i guess of the a body i don't know a whole lot about a bodies but then they become g bodies so I said G-Body in my last video because they really are G-Bodies, but I guess for that year, they were considered A-Bodies for those years, that, that small time span. Uh, 79, I believe, to 81. And those guys who know G-Bodies will probably say, hey, that's not right, but <laughs> you can look at it. Talk to the guys at uh, Hyatt's. They look everything up, make sure that you've got what you need. I get in all the nooks and crannies here. Don't want anything to rust. Even though I already have the chassis saver on it, might as well give as much corrosion resistance as I can. All right, look at this guy. Keep an even 
distance, not really happening the way I normally do it, but we're doing it. Around axle here. For a little, we're looking good. All right, so I think I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then I'll come back and give it another coat. Pull the tape and they'll be done. Right on. Cool, guys. All right, we'll see you guys the next video. All right, so had the spindles out all night last night. They got, I wanna say I've got two, maybe three or four coats of the VHT on them so they're coated i took the tape off last night on these guys are looking good so i'll take them down here and we'll see what we're looking at here guy so this is what we're looking at guys <clears throat> so chassis saver oh and chassis saver works really good on the end bolts it yeah like a little plastic coating and um, when I was tightening them down using my <clears throat> ratcheting wrenches wasn't you know cranking down on them real hard but it wasn't um, wasn't breaking or or cracking you know the chassis saver on them so I'm gonna make sure they're all coated so that they look nice but Everything turned out really good. Everything there. There's a couple parts right in here that I have to get in with the X-Acto knife and cut off and make sure they're good to go. But yeah, there we go. Spindles are painted and ready to go. Now today I'm going to order the, um, uh, the rotors from Rock Auto. Get those coming in the mail and we're moving forward. All right. Going to the garage to clean it up. It needs a good cleaning. Well, it took all morning, but I got my workbench organized. <laughs> one giant step for me and one huge step for anyone that comes in my garage and wants sanity and not clutter. <laughs> so I'll be working on this guy right here. Going to take the rotor off, going to take the caliper off and um, the original spindle and get it ready to go on the drop spindles. Also going to be ordering the new rotors from Rock Auto today. And hopefully get everything set up, get the caliper put on the Hyatt's adapter, and yeah, we are moving forward. So, cool guys, just wanted to show you, I'm not always cluttered. Well, I mean, it's still cluttered, but not what it was. some leverage on it. Might have to set this on the ground and pop it off. Let's see here. Hoping that I can, let's see. What can I do, what can I do? on there tight. Or C's, one or the other. <clears throat> I 
right, let's try this one here. So most of my wrenches are Craftsman. That's what I've got, but it's my one snap-on wrench and I love it. <laughs> I rebuilt the insides. It was actually being thrown away and I got it and uh, was able to save it and rebuilt the insides. It works really darn good. All sorts of things. Every time I really need good wrench. I, growing up, my father was a mechanic, or at least owned a shop, and so they all had snap-on tools, so grew up with snap-on tools. I know there's Matco and all the other tool manufacturers out there, <coughs> Cornwell and stuff like that, but if I come across a yard sale or anything like that, snap-on tools, I try to buy them when I can. <coughs> but yeah, I love this wrench. <coughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me, but just some tools you just you just trust those tools you know you've got your tools your favorite tools in your toolbox and your tool collection I guess and you use them <clears throat> all right so um, this hex head that I'm using right here is a 3 8 hex head right here and that's what I'm using to take the caliper off of the top so this is the original spindle right here I believe it's called the tie rod and then here's the caliper and I'm taking the CPP caliper off. This is what we will be using this bracket right here that goes with the original. Um, I can't use that anymore. I might be putting these on Craigslist and see if somebody else wants them. Everything but the calipers have the rotors and, um, <clears throat> and the brackets, CPP brackets that go with them. So you just have to find out the type of caliper that CPP uses. I'm sure it's like any others, it's either a um, B body or later A body. And I think they're later A bodies, but um, I know some of them are, are built off of the Camaros and um, others like I was talking about before my other video, the A body that's actually a G body are the um, Monte Carlos and uh, cars like that okay so I know some are based off of Chevelle's I guess a Chevelle would be an a body I guess I don't know Wikipedia Wikipedia works okay so calipers off this is the guy I will be using uh, this is the Hyatt's bracket that fits with this guy <clears throat> and this is what it looks like when it's installed so Hyatt's bracket on there and the big CPP caliper. This is not a um, dual piston. It's a single piston, but it's a huge piston. So I think it's going to work really well. Now I just have to take this guy off and I've got to get a couple of things out of uh, this rotor. I've got to get the back seal. I damaged the other one. So, and I want to see if I can get a number off of it so that I can show you guys what the number is. So if you guys need the back seal, uh, you know what it is. So <clears throat> I'll take the rest of this apart and then we'll get rolling. Alrighty guys, we'll see you back to the next part.